Look at this over-engineered bitch. Get shoved, son. What? <laughs> Hello, friends, and greetings. My name is Brandon Data, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Nimbatis, the Space Drone Constructor. Quite an interesting game that was suggested to me based on the fact that I had played Reassembly on my YouTube channel. So needless to say, I was sucked right in and uh, I'm curious to see what it might hold. So we're loading up a galaxy. High scores are not working yet. This is an early preview demo, etc, etc. But it still works uh, relatively well for what we got here. So we're going to start off on planet Kami. <laughs> Kami. Gross. <laughs> and uh, it says we got to destroy a transmitter, destroy some hives. We'll get to explore nearby locations and unlock a rare weapon. But first we must select our drone. Oh my god, we don't have any drones. Okay, create a new drone. That's what we're gonna do. Um, it says that this is, uh, to the right is the forward direction, but honestly there, there is no forward direction in this game. All the thrusters and um, weapons that you have are programmable to different buttons, and uh, hopefully we, we can make something sort of interesting. I think it would be quite nice if we uh, just link maybe like three of these out here. Oh, oh what's this? We can't uh, keep it going. So we've got to click this block to tell it to link not to the center, but to this furthest block. And that is going to allow me to stretch even further. Extremely helpful, obviously. Um, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I can copy and paste, but um, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna just yet. So we've got basically two wings stretching out now, which is interesting. It's a good start, but we're definitely gonna need some thrusters as well to uh, get our little ship going around where it needs to be. So I'm going to set up these thrusters here and uh, I'm going to have the activate under A for them because that might be easy to remember that that is the left side so we'll go ahead and stick a few more on here that should work out quite nicely you don't want to go too crazy on the thrusters because there is like a fuel limit and stuff like that so uh, we'll stop there I suppose and let's get these thrusters going these will be the D thrusters thrust that D yeah <laughs> So we'll do the same amount for on that side as well. So that's looking pretty good. Um, pretty basic maneuverability system, but it should work well if I'm pushing A and D together. The craft will go forward. Uh, just A will make it turn right. Just D will make it turn left. At least uh, that's how it goes in my head. And I'm pretty sure that's how it'll work. So the next thing we need is some batteries, which will uh, allow our weapons and such to fire. We've got small batteries with, with a fast recharge, larger batteries with a slower recharge, and then we've got the uh, solar panels, which are kind of right in the middle from what I could tell. Uh, they do have a lot more HP, so maybe they're good to use, but I'm just going to stick with large batteries for now. I think that'll be just fine for our purposes. So I'll go ahead and stick two of them over there, two of them on the other side, and uh, hopefully everything's going to work out just great. Maybe we should do a little bit more. I don't know. I kind of want to make it look like super cool and stuff, but it's 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 hard to do so, especially when I uh, don't have a full vision for what the craft is going to be yet. So we've got to stick on some fuel tanks. Uh, obviously, these will allow your thrusters to function. Extremely important, if you were to ask me or anyone who's trying to uh, fly a plane. Because if you don't have fuel, then uh, you're going to hit the ground. And I don't want to hit the ground, unless I mean to hit the ground. Uh, so let's put on some smaller smaller fuel tanks in the front. I think that would be pretty cool. Just kind of uh, using these smaller ones to continue my design. Give the ship some personality. And I'm not sure if they're crossing over right here. It can cause some weird bugginess in the physics, but I guess we'll... Uh, We'll figure out what happens, what it do when it happens. Uh, here I've got some small shields, so I should probably be adding an activate key for these. I will stick with Q for all of my shields because ah, there's no reason to make it so complicated. It's going to do just fine. And uh, I will keep it connected to the main part just because it can stretch. It's far enough. It's far enough away. 
So uh, let's maybe add some to the back or something. Would that be a good idea? I'm not quite sure. I'm just going to do it and uh, hopefully not regret my choice. <laughs> That's how it goes sometimes. So here, uh, mechanical parts and logic parts. This is where you get into the drone constructor part of Nim Nimbatis, Nimbatis, which I'm not really good at quite yet, but uh, we'll go ahead and play around with it just a little bit. They've got a motorized hinge, free hinge, and then they've got this coupler, which uh, I will press the E key in order to decouple, and hopefully we can get something onto uh, the coupling link, and maybe it'll even be useful. Who knows? Um, so yeah, all these are bound to Q. Q, E, A, D. Alright, so I can use W and S for something else. Um, weapons generally are going to go on your mouse keys, but let's see what we have since it's randomized every time. We've got a spike, we've got a saw blade, bio bullet gun tower, short beam plasma laser, EMP rocket guns, EMP rocket sniper, EMP rocket sniper. I've got it twice with different colors. I'm not sure what that means. Plasma spark thrower, bio flamethrower. Bio flamethrower sounds fucking awesome. Um, I'm gonna start out with the rocket gun tower just because the rockets are homing, which is uh, pretty important if you're not good at aiming and shit, <laughs> which I am not. So I'm gonna slap about four of these on the front. That should be quite nice to get us started at least. And then, uh, maybe we can do some more. Maybe we could do fucking just a ton. Eight of them? Is that enough? I guess that's enough for now. We could also attach, like, flamethrowers and stuff like that. I don't know how useful that's gonna be, though. Ah, uh, I'll put it... I'll put it on my other little drone. The one that I'm trying to figure shit out with. So, here, uh, we've got some sensors, which paired with the logic parts. Uh, presumably can make your drone do some pretty interesting stuff. So I'm gonna start out with a directional sensor, that's not what I wanted to do. Got to uh, connect it to the right thing, so I'll connect it to this decoupling part. And uh, now the, the drone will attempt to right itself, should start to tip over, but only if I give it some thrusters to do so. So um, I'll need to... Give it some logic, I do believe. And gate, not gate. Activates the output if the key is not pressed. The input key is pressed. Oh, activates the output key. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing with any of this shit. If you're a programmer, you're probably laughing at me like, Dayton, this shit's so basic. Well, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but that doesn't make me any good at it. So we've got a speed sensor, we've got a distance sensor. I don't think speed sensor is going to be important, really. Uh, but I do want to use that distance sensor with something. Maybe uh, a knock gate if the input key is not pressed. Oh, we're supposed to be putting an input key with this uh, tilted right, tilted left. Okay. So if it's tilted right, it's going to do alpha 1. If it's tilted left, it's going to do alpha, alpha 2. So, how can I make it say which one is which? activates if both keys are pressed, so they're never going to both be pressed because it's never going to be tilted both right and left at the same time. It's like a giant logic puzzle, basically, which is really, really interesting to me. Um, first of all, I just want to see if my basic drone body works at all. So look at that. One, two, one, two. We're going pretty good. And then if I detach my, uh, my drone here, yeah. It'll fly around. My rockets seem to be doing some shit. Not too bad. That's not, not too shabby. I can't go backwards, which uh, is going to be a problem, I'm pretty sure. So I should probably add some, some thrusters onto W. Just for when I get into trouble, crash onto the planet, something like that. Which I just know is bound to happen. And then you can see my uh, fuel tanks are emptying out as are my batteries. Fuel tanks as I fly, batteries as I shoot the weapon. So, um, it's not too bad. It's going pretty well. I still don't have that drone thing quite figured out, but uh, we'll see if we can at least complete that first mission. 
this is this is going okay, I do think, so far. So let's save and exit before too much time has passed, and we'll go ahead and launch this drone, try and find that transmitter and blow it up, and then five hives, which um, might be hard, especially since I, I didn't put the, the backwards thrusters like I said that I was going to. But if I could just fire downwards, yeah, maybe we'll be okay. It's gonna be just fine. I don't know if I necessarily want to face myself down or or what's gonna happen. Well, let's just let's just see how it goes. There's a a turret over here. Go ahead and explode that real quick and get rid of this hive. Bam! There's another one down. Okay, so let's continue on. It's really hard to see what's on the planet. I'm just kind of waiting for my uh, batteries to recharge at the moment. Explode those things. Hey! Hey, everybody! How you living? Oh, that looks like a transmitter. Done. The amount of rockets I have on this uh, ship seems gratuitous at first. But no longer. Um, I am really low on batteries, so that's not going to be good. My ship is going to end up um, firing in waves if I run out of battery, which is not good. So I'm going to just let that charge up a little bit. I can kind of rest on the planet without uh, expending any fuel as my batteries recharge up. So that's a good thing, but we don't want to rest for too long. we got to keep the action flowing. You know how that go? So we're going to go ahead and uh, fly just a little further this way. And um, it would be a lot easier if I had programmed a drone to help me out with this. Oh god. Something's firing on me. What is it? What is it? Is it a fucking turret? I bet it is. Die. Yeah, I killed it. Whatever it was, it's dead now. I suspect there's another hive over this way the amount of baddies that there are just lurking about. So let's go ahead and fire this up. It's kind of like a um, moon lander in a way. You've really got to conserve your fuel and be aware of what direction you're facing. But I really like that about this game. Not to mention the, uh, the puzzling part. Programming your own drone and things like this. That is uh, an extremely interesting thing to me. Power up these shields, how about? Yeah. Oh, and uh, I ran out of battery for my shields. Which is not good. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight these things off. Okay, let's just uh, cruise out for a little bit. How's that? Get away from the hive so my uh, batteries can recharge just a little. And I assume I am falling back to Earth. I don't want to use too much fuel uh, jetting around and things like that, but maybe I will have to just get back to the general vicinity. I saw a hive. I've only got a couple left to go. And uh, somewhere in that madness, I did end up decoupling my little, uh, my little drone. He's gone forever now. Lost on this planet. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay. Let's uh, try and maneuver over to the hive. I've got a couple of batteries full, so I should be okay. And uh, it's a little awkward to steer, steer this ship, if I'm going to be completely honest. Ooh. Damn. It, I, it got destroyed. I don't know how it got destroyed. I should have added some more armor blocks, I suppose. Well, we did destroy the transmitter. So, uh, now the galaxy has expanded just a little bit, which is pretty cool, but if Planet Cummy thinks that I'm done with it, then it is uh, exceedingly wrong in that fact. So, hopefully I can add just a couple more thrusters to, uh, alleviate things a little bit. I was having just a few problems, but, um, yeah, maybe it's gonna go great. Maybe it's gonna be totally different this time. Who knows? I meant to edit the drone, but I didn't do that, so I uh, guess we're not going to do that. And here is the, the trouble that I was foreseeing a bit earlier. If you land the wrong way, then, then you're totally screwed. So, let's go back. Let's edit this drone as I plan to. 
in the very beginning, in the beginning, there was a drone created by a man named Dayton Does. It wasn't a very good drone, but that's okay. Everything's fine here. Um, this is a little wonky. Why can't I get it to sit straight? Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, I say. Let's uh, hook it on this thing over here and tilt it a little bit so it's going the correct way-ish. And I'll find that to W. I think these are both bound to W now. Yeah, because they're copies of each other. Okay, so that's wonderful. I still want to figure out this decoupling and uh, maybe figure out how to, how to something. I'll just add a thruster. The only way to really figure it out is to start experimenting, so let's add a thruster, we'll add another one, so it can have at least a little uh, mobility to it. I don't know how it's going to work. I really don't. But uh, it's probably not going to work well. <laughs> That is my prediction. Maybe we should add some weapons to it as well. We don't want it to be defenseless out there, do we? Oh god. I don't want the saw blade on my ship. I want it on this little, uh, this little drone. There we go. Let's drag it down a little. Wish I could increase the size somehow, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Rotating it does absolutely nothing. So, uh, it is what it is. I do suppose. Let's go ahead and add some more saw blades, just in case anybody gets close to my drone. They're gonna get fucked up, right? Right. That's how it goes. Uh, keep things kind of uh, where they're supposed to be as far as this graph is concerned. Thank goodness this is all taking place on a graph, or I'd be really fucked as far as symmetry goes. So. Now my drone has some saw blades, uh, they're all bound to the same button as my, my other weapons. Hopefully it's gonna do something? I'm, I'm not really sure. It's probably gonna do more good attached to me than it is flying off into space, but I guess we'll see how it goes. That's fine. And I probably should add some more batteries as well, right? Maybe? Make this shit as large as possible? <laughs> Couldn't hurt couple batteries, why not? Everybody likes that. Um, so we'll go more batteries over this way. Boopy boop. And I'm liking that. Where are those connected to? Here? Or here? Yes, it's up just a little bit. Okay, so it's kind of wonky looking, but we'll see. We'll see if we can get through this first level. I mean, I did complete one objective, but that was the easy objective. That was the simple one. I want the, the destroy all drones. Exterminate all enemies. You are an enemy. Oh god. Something's going extremely wrong with my uh, my drone there, so I'm just gonna detach that shit. Something, something terrible's happening. I don't understand. What's happening? <laughs> okay, let's push it over this way. Here, help me, little drone. Help me to understand you. Oh, Lord. And we're dead again. Really? Really now? I should be, um... Probably activating my... My shields a little bit more. Instead of just allowing myself to explode. But I was really worried about what was happening with my fucking, my detachable drone. Detachable penis. Let's go ahead and rip that thing off immediately and fly away from it. Just vacate. Vacate ASAP. Alright, I'm out of here. I gotta go this way now. Yeah. Tearing it up. Oh god. I put these reverse thrusters, right? I can get the hell out of here. Reverse thrusters. Come on. Okay. That kind of worked better than I expected it to. So now I just need to recharge my batteries a little bit. Recharge the batteries. Oh god. And I'm being fired on. Constantly. 
Nothing is my friend in this game. Alright, so we tapped out uh, a couple of our fuel tanks already, which does not bode well. Oh, but there's another hive. So wreck that shit. Get the shields up and wreck everything. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh boy. None of my parts seem to be getting blown off. I do know that is uh, possible, but luckily not happening at the moment. Destroy. Destroy that thing. And it's good that I put a couple of thrusters on the front. I could be getting really screwed right now. There's another transmitter. I don't need to destroy it, but I will. We'll scooch forward just a little bit in preparation for what comes next. Oh god. We're dragging a little. There we go. Re-aim. And then up into the atmosphere. <laughs> this game is really satisfying. More satisfying than reassembly, I dare say. Because, um, yeah. It's your braining and programming that all goes into uh, creating this drone. Oh, and I fucked it up again. Damn. Damn, dude. Maybe I gotta add some more stuff to this drone. Maybe it's too bare bones. It's just getting destroyed too quick. So, um... I'm gonna get rid of this. Boom. So now that's all gone. How about, uh, just some armor? Just some armor blocks would be a good idea, right? I could build it across the bottom here. I need to reattach it to something else. Okay. So we'll just do a, a little bit of measury. There we go. And, uh... Couldn't hurt, right? Just a little bit of extra health. I want everybody to be healthy. My precious little drone. Okay. Now we've got a bit of going along the bottom. I think along the top is probably a good idea, unless the missiles can't fire. I'm not sure what, what the case is. How this is gonna work. So, uh, how do we figure something like that out? Experiment. It's the only way. It's the only way! Is this gonna fit? It's gonna fit so nicely. Okay, so now things are boxed in a little bit more, which hopefully is gonna help me out. I'm not sure. I'm never too sure. None too sure. Nimbatus, you are full of mystery, and I love it. I shall uncover all of your your secrets, you see. Alright, so now are my missiles? Yeah, they can still shoot. Alright, we're looking pretty good. It's definitely a bulkier ship. Um, it's not as, as light and able to fly as quickly as it was. But I guess that's okay. We'll live with it somehow. I just hope that uh, two thrusters will be able to pull my fat ass off the planet when I get stuck on it like that. And they're not really. Definitely lasting a bit longer against these things, but... Um, not going well. I'm gonna need more thrusters on the front if I want to, uh, if I want to make this drone happen. So, okay. We can do that. I'll stick more thrusters on there. One and two and three and four. Thrusters for every war. Something like that. Um, oh no, 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 no. What's happening now? Alright, so let's connect that and that. That's okay, isn't it? Physics okay? Yeah, it's fine. So we've got six thrusters going back, eight thrusters going forward. Hmm. Is it going to work? Is, is the main question. Maybe I should split up the thrusters as well. And be using Q and E for top thrusters, A and D for bottom thrusters. Does that make sense? I suppose it would, but uh, I'm quite undecided at the moment. There we go. Explode that shit. Boom. My poor ship is so much fatter than it used to be, but at least we're uh, we're not going to get exploded. Not this time around. Good job. Take care of the turrets. 
Maybe hit the shields. Alright, we're good. We're good, bro. Don't worry about it. Be like a fucking intergalactic exterminator. And I'm terrible at my job. The bugs have gotten the best of me. A couple of times. What, two or three times now? What the fuck? I'm gonna blow this turret up. Here, how you like that? How you like that, suck a motherfucker? Alright, and uh, my batteries are kind of jiggling and wiggling. At least the ones that are hitting the dirt. So let lets me know that maybe they could break off, which is uh, not something I'm looking forward to. But we are succeeding. And the light effects are just so pretty in this game as well. I'm liking that a lot. So we've got two more hives to destroy. A decent amount of fuel left. I'm more concerned about the fuel than the batteries. I can't always attach more fuel tanks, but um, yeah. The ship just gets heavier and heavier. Look at that. These missiles are just fucking doing work. Alright. So we've got uh, about one more tank, and then the little emergency reserve tanks. Hopefully that's going to be enough. There are more insects swarming about, which lets me know there is probably a hive nearby. There it is. Destroy it! Good! Yes! And away! Your home is, your home is destroyed! Farewell! <laughs> okay, back to Nimbotus. Yes, I will do just that. And we got the EMP bullet gun tower, so that's pretty nice, I do suppose. Damage, digging strength, hmm, digging strength. I guess that is a strategy, dig yourself a little foxhole, something like that. So now we've completed all the uh, quests on planet Kami, but the galaxy is infinite, you see. We've got planet Laraki and Jixu, and wa 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 wi fi <laughs> And there's also a sumo arena just up this way, which uh, I do want to stop in just for a minute. I know time's getting long, and I do apologize for that. But uh, this game is really interesting, really in-depth. And uh, we need to win the sumo arena to win a rare weapon. So maybe select a drone. Let's see if this drone is going to work. Requirements. Fully autonomous, 50 or less diameter, no weapons. What? Okay, so we gotta create a new drone. We've gotta create a new drone and make it fully autonomous. And I do think that the arrow for this uh, is going to, to come into play. So let's, let's do distance sensors, because that's probably going to be an important thing. And then I'll like crank it up all the way. That's how I think that's supposed to work. And uh, I'll just put three because I don't know why. It can detect all that stuff. Oh, and I need to change this as well to enemy as well as terrain, right? I guess. I don't really know. Okay, so these are changed to all now. Oh, X is explode, C is to release drones. Oh my god. I'm, I'm finding so much out about this game every second of every single day. It's amazing. Okay. So, fully autonomous. How am I going to, to make this thing autonomous? That is the question. So, detection event. We should, we should add the mouse zero key. Although it said we can't use any weapons. So, no. This is going to be W. All of this is going to be W. And then, um, when it detects the event, it should activate it, right? Activates the output key. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see about this. I'm gonna see about this right now. I'm hoping this is gonna work. Output key. Yeah, activates the output key. Okay. So that's fine. I don't think we even need the distance sensors. I think I could just add these things and like thrusters and, and we'd be good, right? Is that correct? Let's see. Test it. Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Hmm. These are bound to the same thing, W and W. Ah. Interesting. I really want that, that rare weapon. 
Oh, it's because I don't have fuel? Is that is that what I'm to understand? Aha! There we go. Okay, good. So then I just need to uh, bulk my blocks up a little bit to make it all like sumo-y and stuff. That's what's gonna happen now. And I don't think I want to put blocks in front of the sensors. Because that would be bad. That would be a stupid. Which uh, is something Dayton is, is renowned for, but that's not what we're going for today. We don't want to make any stupids. So let's make like a giant, giant enemy crab. Giant enemy crab. Oh, he's going to be so terrifying. Everybody watch out for that guy. Okay, so we should do like, hmm, symmetry, symmetry, is this working? Kind of, I guess. It's good enough. Alright, so, um, let's see about this drone. I don't even really need the fucking sensors on the front, do I? It's basically just activate W. Activate W, and then the thrusters happen. So I'm gonna add some more thrusters as well. Because we can push harder. We can push harder, we can do better. So, here we go. Lots of thrusters. You're gonna get thrusted so hard, bro. No homo though? For reals. Okay. I probably should get like a directional sensor or something like that, right? Is that... is that... Is that doing? But then that's like tilt left, tilt right. Oh, that's a bag of worms I don't really want to open at the moment. So, um, yeah. We'll just stick with this. We'll just stick with this. It seems to be going pretty well, right? So, copy and paste, and copy and paste. Oh, wait. Paste from the other way. Here, this way. And then I'll just shove one more, because... Because why not? There's my sumo bot, so let's see how it does. It takes a while to build these things, but, um... It generally feels pretty good when you get it to work out nicely. So, fully autonomous, check. 50 or less diameter, check. No weapons, check. Let us see how it does. Go, go, sumo bot. New drone versus heavy slug. I should really name these things so I can keep sort, keep them sorted once, uh, once I have a thousand of them. And I really want to play with spawning new drones, too. Oh my god, there's so much to this game, you guys. Oh, it's on Kickstarter. It's fucking fantastic. Hopefully I'm just gonna win this sumo fight. Look at this. Boom! Bitch! You got sumoed so hard. Holy crap. New drone wins. EMP Rocket Gun Tower. Thank you so much! Awesome. So, Strafe on Studios, definitely an amazing game. Definitely something that I'm gonna look further into. I hope you guys will check it out on Kickstarter. It is boosting towards its goal already within the first couple days, and, uh for good reason, because this game's fucking awesome. If you'd like to see some more of it, please do let me know. I would be so, so glad to come back to it. I probably will, regardless, just because uh, I enjoy it that much, and hopefully I'll learn some new things and be better at piloting my ship. At least, uh, yeah, finding a control scheme that works with my brain and stuff like that, because, um, yeah, setting up your own keys is, is interesting. It's not something that many games offer yet, but that customization is definitely huge in the replayability, and uh, there's just thousands and thousands of parts and weapons and all kinds of shit to unlock, I'm sure, and with the Kickstarter money, it's going to get even bigger, so super, super excited for Nimbatus. Um, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Let me know what you think of this game. Let me know if you uh, support it on Kickstarter. I've got a little bit of money that I plan to throw its way, so um, yeah, thank you for watching. Ah, this has been Nimbatus, the space drone constructor. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, the not very good space drone constructor, but uh, that'll be improved eventually in the future, I hope. Anyways, I've rambled long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Um, we're going to dig up some more indie gems. I hope you're looking forward to that. And until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three. Three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.